this story right here was sent to me from a few of my subscribers and from a few different ways i got it through an email and from a couple people on twitter and shout out to those who sent me the story so in this picture you can see three people you see rose mcgowan harvey weinstein and lisa bloom now all now this story involves all three of them but the main focal point is going to be lisa bloom and this is going to go back to something that myself harvey nicole's view and a few other people who have been following the whole harvey weinstein case for a while now have been talking about if y'all remember back in 2017 when the whole me too thing really kicked off really ramped up harvey weinstein was the first person that they went after and we know that lisa bloom and her hen pecking mother gloria allred have a hard on for going after men but especially black men in particular but Lisa Bloom had actually came out of her own mouth and said that she would defend Harvey Weinstein. And lamestream media, it must have been a slow, uh, busy news cycle that day because for some reason they didn't talk about it. Now, I'm just saying that in pure utter sarcasm. We know why they didn't talk about it. But myself and a few others picked up on it and we called them out on that shit. But, of course, it didn't really pick up any steam. So now there's this story that has come out where there's this book that was written that says that Lisa Bloom was offered to damage um, Rose McGowan's reputation in order to help Harvey Weinstein. Now, this is in no way, shape, or form of me defending Rose McGowan because Rose McGowan just comes off as an opportunist, as an opportunist who's just trying to find her way back into being into Hollyweird or back on you know back into acting which at this point I think her career is pretty much done but that Lisa Bloom and her mother even though we're talking about Lisa Bloom right now those two are some of the worst people on the planet to walk the face of this earth to be breathing right now I mean in a whole lot more things that I can't think of at the moment no way am I even remotely surprised by that title that I just read about her damaging another person's reputation. Because if you remember, uh, Rose McGowan had came out a few months ago and it was some stuff going on involving her case and everything like that. And I think this is where it's coming from. See, Lisa Bloom and... Gloria Allred, her mother, play this game like they want to help these women and they want to stop these predators. They will help the women that they feel like helping, but they'll only go after the men that look more like myself. While trying to get someone like a Harvey Weinstein off the hook. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read this article. I have not read it yet, so I don't know what I'm about to look at or read. It says a new book exploring the allegations against Harvey Weinstein says attorney Lisa Bloom offered to help portray actor Rose McGowan, one of Weinstein's accusers, as increasingly unglued in an effort to discredit her. Bloom also apparently attempted to smear other Weinstein accusers, including Ashley Judd. Now, you know, Ashley Judd, she's been spearheading this campaign to go after Harvey Weinstein and try to take him down for a while. And every time she tries, she gets stopped every single time. The New York Times published a long look at She Said by Jody Cantor and Megan Twohe, or Tuhe, or Tui, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. The Pulitzer Prize winning journalist who published the first New York Times expose on Weinstein in October 2017. It sounds like there's a lot in here, Cantor and Tui report, for instance, that Weinstein's brother, Bob Weinstein, attempted to convince Weinstein to get medical treatment to fix what he categorized as misbehavior that had brought shame to the family. And Weinstein's company. And at the first Weinstein whistleblower was Weinstein's company executive Erin Ritter, a writer. She said also re reveals the identities of another Weinstein accuser, Rowena Chu, who was an assistant at Miramax in the 1990s and allegedly sexually assaulted by Weinstein in a hotel room in 1998. Then there's this details. This is Allred's daughter, the lawyer Lisa Bloom, a prominent victim's rights attorney, was working behind the scenes with Weinstein at the rate of $895 an hour to quash the journalist's investigation and thwart his accusers. In a confidential memo to Mr. Weinstein that Ms. Bloom wrote in December 2016, which, which reproduced 
And she said she offered to help him damage the reputation of one of his accusers, Rose McGowan, and portrayed her background as a victim's right advocate as an asset. I feel equipped to help you against the roses of the world because I have represented so many of them, Miss Bloom wrote before laying out a multi-step playbook for how to intimidate accusers or paint them as liars. One of Miss Bloom's suggested tactics for undermining Miss McGowan, we can place an article of her becoming increasingly unglued so that when someone Googles her, this is what pops up and she's discredited. Bloom resigned as Weinstein's attorney shortly after Cancer and Tui's first bombshell piece came out, claiming she was over the hate and touting her record as an attorney for victims of sexual assault. So that was what I was talking about when she said that she wanted to be his uh, attorney. This is where it's coming from. It's just that now it's basically all coming out for the world to see. The Miss Bloom accompanied Mr. Weinstein on a surprise visit to the Times the day before the initial article was published to present the journalist with information intended to portray several accusers, including Ashley Judd, the first actress to go on record, as unreliable and mentally unstable. Bloom later apologized for working with Weinstein, claiming she deeply regretted representing him. On Sunday, shortly after the Times published their story on She Said, Bloom released a statement reiterating her apology and outlining some of her work some of the work her firm has done in the years since see that they should not allow her to just fly off of just an ap apology alone or saying that she regretted uh working with Weinstein she knew what kind of history this man had and she even went out her way to try to discredit other people and in a way was successful how this bitch even still has a job well we know why she still has a job but just metaphorically speaking how this bitch still has a job is beyond me she and her mother are not to be trusted at all. Now, those two women, I believe right there, don't, man, if this was a fair and balanced establishment, those two right there would not only have no job, but they will also be in jail. Like this just, this just screams illegal to me. And I don't give a damn if she is listing all her little credentials. That doesn't mean a damn thing. It's the fact of the matter that she's discrediting other people just to save Harvey Weinstein. They have some kind of a connection, her mother and herself and Harvey Weinstein. They got some kind of deep connection. Now, I'm going to read this tweet that Lisa Bloom put out there. She says, while painful, I learned so much from my mistakes than my successes. To those who missed my 2017 apology, and especially to the women, I am sorry. Here are the changes I made to ensure that I will not make that mistake again. She says, I thank Judy, Jody Cantor, Megan Tui, and Ronan Farrow for forcing me to confront the colossal mistake I made in working for Weinstein two years ago. While painful, I learned so much more from my mistakes than my successes. When the first woman went on record accusing him of sexual assault, I immediately resigned and apologized but that was not enough my law firm went from 95 percent to 100 percent victim side and that's where we stay winning victories for clients against of course she had to mention bill cosby paul marciano bill o'reilly and many others you've never heard of but you know what it's hard it's the fact she can name all these people that she had these quote-unquote victories against it's the fact of the matter you still was going to represent harvey weinstein who was the first person that me too went after and you jumped and she jumped on that opportunity. Lisa Bloom jumped on that opportunity because the whole Me Too thing kicked off in October. They went after Harvey Weinstein. She jumped on that ASAP. I guess she didn't get, really care about the victims. Then all she saw were dollar signs. She saw that she could probably get a winning case out of being on Weinstein's side rather than not. Let's see what else she had to say. She's I I judge decades fighting hold on let me sit man i judge others i'm sorry not by their one worst mistake but by their lifetime of work so basically she's trying to get you to not um go after her because of the one thing that she did listen she's done more than just this it's just that this is the one where they're really grilling her ass she says uh in my case that is over three decades fighting mostly for underdogs against the powerful because of our many wins. My law firm has grown to one of the largest victims rights firms in the country. I'm always humbled by the trust that our many clients have in our hardworking team. And our promise to them is that we will continue to fight tirelessly for their rights. That's a bunch of bullshit. 
she said she fights for the underdog, but she went and tried to fight for the alpha dog, which was in this case Harvey Weinstein. And then it says McGowan, meanwhile, does not seem to care about Lisa Bloom's apology. And I'm about to read what she said. She said the evil that was perpetrated on me and others was mind bending and illegal. Lisa Bloom should be disbarred. Um, someone else said it's no secret that Lisa Bloom repped Harvey Weinstein and worked with him to discredit accusers. But in Jody Cantor's and Megan Toohey's new book, she said we learned just how far Bloom was willing to go to destroy women who were the targets of Weinstein's pred pred predatory ways. And I'm going to read to you what it says. All Red's daughter, the lawyer Lisa Bloom, a prominent victim's rights attorney, was working behind the scenes. Oh, no, I don't have to read that part because I just read it already in the um in the initial part of the article but yeah they deservingly so need to put this heifer on blast and it's about time that the world actually knew the dirty dealings of not only lisa bloom but also her mother they only go after one type of guy for the most part and that's historically for them black men i will never forget a few years ago before uh gary coleman died and he was on some television show and Lisa Bloom up there berating him, talking about uh, him hitting, was it hitting his wife or some other woman <clears throat> without knowing the entire story. And she like literally went in on him while on national television trying to embarrass this man. And he straight up cussed her out and walked off the set and then sat there like she was the helpless victim of a quote unquote vicious verbal attack in typical palm colored woman fashion. They can. They can do all these little attacks on people, and then when they attack them back, they got to act like the victim as if they weren't supposed to be hit. That's the kind of person Lisa Bloom is. That's the type of, that's the type of person her mother is, and it's not surprising because th that's who she learned from. That is who she learned from. The apple does not fall far from the tree. So I'm glad this stuff is getting exposed. Unfortunately, I don't know to what extent is going to happen to those to Lisa Bloom as far as her career goes. It should have been dead in the toilet years ago, her and her mother's, because they nothing but a bunch of ambulance chasing skanks anyway. But y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.